test. I built it myself. From all the best stuff, the soft purple feather, the finest dirt and twigs, <gasps> that pretty pink bubblegum wrapper, and those gorgeous green and orange pipe cleaners. Oh, I love that nest. It's perfect. Correction, it was perfect, because now it's gone. Oh, oh where is it? Get a hold of yourself, Norville. The wind probably just blew it out of the tree. Uh, yeah, of course. Of course, the wind. Oh, Daffodoodle, you are a genius. Okay, so where is it? It's gotta be around somewhere. Aw, uh, don't worry, Norval. We'll find it. Sure. Come on, everyone! Norville's nest? No, my squeaky hat dog. <laughs> Boy, I've been looking all over for you. <sighs> Do you think it could be in here? There's only one way to find out. Whee! You, Clifford. The wind keeps blowing it off. Where is it? Where can it be? Oh, where is it? Sorry, Norville. Yeah, we looked everywhere. Twice. But no nest. Oh, thanks for trying. But if it's not here, it could be anywhere. Oh, I've got to hit the sky and search every inch of this city. I mean, top to bottom. I mean, side to side. I've just got to find my nest. I've just got to! Oh, poor Norville. I've never seen him so upset. I wish there was something we could do for him. What if he doesn't ever find his nest at all? Oh, that'd be awful. Wait a minute. I got a big idea. Since we can't find his old nest, why don't we build him a new one? Hey, yeah! buddy, that's a great idea. And if we hurry, we can finish it before he gets back. Huh? Yeah! <laughs> okay, troops, here's the plan. We're going to need twigs and dirt. And how about it? And little things to mash in with it. Clifford, you dig for the dirt. Daffodil will be your partner. Yeah, one problem. I don't do dirt. Lo, so you two go get little bits of string, yarn, paper, whatever you can find. Got it? Wait, I have a question. Didn't you hear me? Go, go, go! We're going. Okay, okay. And exactly what are you going to do? I'll be gathering twigs. <laughs> the easy job. <sighs> Clifford, I think that's enough. Oh, <laughs> that dirt doesn't count. The really great dirt is down deep. Listen, Clifford, it's sweet that you're trying so hard, but this whole plan is a big mess. I don't know what Jorge was thinking, giving the smallest puppy the biggest job. Oh, I don't mind. And putting the kittens in charge of yarn and bits? Big mistake. Why? Rubber band. <gasps> it's perfect. To, to play, play with. with. thing about this plan that's never going to work. What? Aren't you done yet? <sighs> Almost. <sighs> we sure got some great dirt, though. Good going, 
soldier. Now take it to Norville's tree. Whoa. Carry all the dirt all the way over there? Well, all the way over there's where we're going to build the nest. Then you should have told us to dig by the tree in the first place. What a confusing plan. Oh, Daffodil, it's okay. Hey, my plan makes perfect sense. Hmm. Let's see. We've got dirt over here, twigs over there, and nothing from the kittens. Was that part of your plan? Oh, it's okay. Flo and Zoe are probably on their way here right now. Don't worry. I'll go get them. <laughs> Flo? Zoe? What are you doing? Collecting stuff! Like Jorge said. Yeah, um, I think you're supposed to bring it to Norval's tree. Okay, we'll be right there. Oh, thanks. Hey, Zo. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I came up with a plan. And who made you the boss? Jorge, Daffodil, the kittens are here. And look at all the great stuff we found. Ooh. See, the plan is working great. Ooh, I know what we can do with this lid. Ah, uh -uh, oh no, that's not for the nest. We're keeping that. Oh, and we're keeping that too. And that. But, uh, Flo, Zoe, what did you collect for Norval's nest? This. <laughs> See, I knew they'd do some sort of kitten thing. Like what? What's that mean? It's better if they don't do anything at all. You mean, like you? What do you mean by that? You know what I mean. Yeah, we brought stuff. Yeah, we sure did. Uh, yeah, yeah, we brought stuff. Wait a minute. Now, uh, remember Norville, the friend we're supposed to be building the nest for? He's going to be back soon, and we still don't have a nest for him. He He's right, guys. We haven't built anything. We don't even have anything to build the nest with. I guess we kind of forgot that we were supposed to be helping Norville. All we did was think about ourselves. Listen, everybody, I I'm sorry for taking over and not listening to anyone else's ideas. And I'm sorry, too. All I did was criticize Jorge's plan when I really should have been helping. We're sorry for trying to keep all of the stuff we found for ourselves. We want to give it all to Norville's new nest. Because he really needs it more than we do. Oh, great. You know, maybe if we started working together as a real team, we can still build the nest in time. I bet we can. Let's, let's do it. Well, then what are we waiting for? Okay, everyone, let's get going. First, uh, does anyone have any suggestions? Where is it? Where can it be? Oh, where is it? is looking good. Can I have another piece of yarn, please? Beautiful, beautiful nest, it's gone! Here comes Norville. You know, I looked everywhere. I mean, every nook and cranny of this city, but I couldn't find my nest. Norville. My beautiful nest. Did I ever tell you how perfect it was? Norville. Oh, I, I know that some people would say, well, you know, it's just sticks and mud. Norville. But oh, it was so much more than that. Norville. What? Huh? It's for you. We built it together. We know it's not nearly as fancy as your old nest. But we really worked hard together to make it special. 
Of course, you don't have to live there if you don't want to. Are you kidding? My furry friends work together to make a nest just because they care? About me? Oh, to have a nest built with love? Oh, that is the best nest of all. Oh, oh this feels just right. Oh, yes, it tickles my tummy. Aww. Toys. It was a great morning because Speckle and his friends had gotten together to play. But soon they realized that none of them had brought a game or a toy to play with. They wondered, what were they going to do? Until Speckle said they could use their imaginations and make their own toys. That was a great idea, and off they went to see what toys they could create. Reba was so inspired, she went right out and gathered acorns, just the right size for a game of jacks. Working together, Darnell and Luna made an extra long daisy chain to use as a jump rope. Then Robbie and Speckle found that a soft plastic lid was perfect for throwing through the air like a flying disc. Now, the gang had a brand new question. Which wonderful homemade toy should they play with first? The end. I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, for such a small dog, you sure are a big reader. Clifford says, be the best red dog on your block. Visit your local library and discover all kinds of books, both big and small. 